so uh, sorry about the lighting. I'm Chris Ignato and you're watching my YouTube channel. Anyhow, check out this fishing spider. It's a six spotted fishing spider and it's pretty cool. And there we have a six spotted fishing spider. As you can tell, it's a bit on the large side. They'll grab water insects and stuff, pull them in through the water, perhaps water boatmen, even water striders at times. But they are named fishing spiders for a reason. They will grab baby fish out of the water or tiny tadpoles. It's kind of creepy to see. Very impressive species, striking markings. So this species is Dalamedes triton, I think. And if you recall, I've got a previous video for Ptolemides tenebrosius. But Triton is the son of Poseidon in Greek mythology, so that's a little bit neat. Another neat thing about this species is they're actually diurnal. They're not nocturnal, like uh, a lot of spiders I'm used to. So that's pretty cool. Now if you look closely, you can actually see how the water film is bending under the pressure or the weight of its feet. That works because the spiders don't weigh very much. And water molecules are bonding to each other in all directions underneath the surface of the water. But above the surface, there are no water molecules, allowing them to bond much stronger at the surface of the water, causing the film. However, if they break through the surface tension, the water will engulf them, and it will become their watery grave. Never mind. And one underneath. And underneath, some gammaras, back swimmers. You can just about see them. Let's see if I can get the spider underwater. Now the spider has traps, a layer, basically a, a bubble of oxygen on the hairs of its abdomen. So it can breathe through its book lungs, which are on the underside of the abdomen while it's underwater because it's got a trapped supply of oxygen. There's the spider now with a trapped layer of oxygen on the hairs of its abdomen and its legs. Really crazy looking, isn't it? And that was a gamma that swam by. So, pretty wild, huh? Anyhow, the reason why it's called the six spotted fishing spider is not because of the spots on its back, but there's actually six spots on the underside of its cephalothorax. But you're generally not going to see that. Unless it's on your face. Yeah. Anyhow, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.